In this video, we're gonna be working on this 1998 through 2010 Volkswagen Beetle. We're gonna be replacing this front lower control arm and it's located right here. You should have a little center cap here that you need to take off. You wanna use the straight blade screwdriver and just get underneath there, pop that off. This vehicle does not have that. Then take your hook and then find this hole right here and then just pull, pull the cap right off. It's just held on by those positions. Now you can access the lug nuts. Use the wheel lock key, find the wheel lock. Take that one off with a 17 millimeter socket. Then using the same 17 millimeter, we're gonna take off the lug bolts. Before I take the last one off, just gonna support the wheel from falling. Take that off and pull the wheel off. Take this bolt out here, use a 16 millimeter socket. Just twist that up a little bit. Using a 13 millimeter socket, take these three bolts out. And you have this plate right here that has the nuts attached to that. So take that off. And now you can pull the lower ball joint, separate that from the control arm. Using a 16 millimeter socket, take these out. I'm just gonna use a pull jack underneath the cradle. And we'll pull these cradle bolts out. There's two on this side and two on the other side. Using a 21 millimeter socket, take these bolts out. Before we lower this down, there is two steering rack bolts right here and here. Use a 13 millimeter socket. Take those out. And there's two over here as well. Now we can lower this down. The steering rack should stay. And then you should be able to access that bolt. Using an 18 millimeter socket, take this bolt out. Then you're gonna take this bolt out. You need a socket or a wrench on top. There is a nut that's gonna spin. That's an 18 millimeter as well. Just use a socket or, an, or a wrench and then 18 millimeter socket down below. Take that out. Grab the nut. And grab the control arm and just block it out. And if you need a pry bar, you can use a pry bar, but you should be able to just grab it and slide it out. Comes right up. Now I take the control arm and line it up, same way it came out. Slide that in position right there. There. I'm just going to use a rubber mallet, give it a tap. Get that to line up. That looks good there. Just take a Phillips head screwdriver, get this to line up. And when you're doing this job, all these bolts should be replaced. They're all torque to yield bolts. Put the nut on top. 
and get that front bolt lined up. Now you want to tighten this down. You want this arm as close to ride height as possible. If you can compare it to the other one, just get it as close as possible. Ideal if you could tighten this or torque this down when the vehicle's on the ground, but that's not realistic because you won't be able to fit a torque wrench in here while this is up. So do the best you can. We're going to torque this to 51 foot pounds, and then you want to go an additional 90 degrees. And we'll do the same with this bolt. Snug it up. I'm going to go 51 foot pounds and then 90 degrees. Now we can raise this up. Make sure the steering rack is lining up properly. Might have to wiggle that. You know, once you raise it up a little bit, get those steering bolts started. And put the cradle bolts in. Get those all started. Might have to adjust the cradle a little bit. Now we'll snug all these down first. And the cradle bolts, we're gonna to torque those to 74 foot pounds and then an additional 90 degrees. And 90 degrees. And now I can take the pull jack down and out of the way. Snug the steering bolts down. Now we'll torque these bolts to 14 foot pounds. And then an additional 90 degrees. And same with these ones. 14, and then 90 degrees. Now take these bolts, get these started. If you have to push back on the motor or transmission, get these to line up. Now we're going to torque these bolts to 29 foot-pounds and then an additional quarter turn. And we'll put the lower ball joint bolts in and the nuts. Get those started. Once 
Whenever you remove these bolts, make sure you replace those. And I'll snug these up first. And with a 13 millimeter wrench on top, 10 millimeter socket down below, I'm gonna to torque these to 15 foot pounds and then an additional 90 degrees. It's 15 and then 90 degrees. Now slide the link down in position, get the bolt, get that started, get that lined up. Snug that down. Now we're going to torque that to 33 foot-pounds. Now put the wheel on, line it up, put the bolts in. And the wheel lock key with the wheel lock. Just tighten those down. Now we're going to torque these lug bolts to 89 foot-pounds in a cross pattern to tighten the wheel down evenly. And just go around again, double check. Take the key out and take the center cap. If that center ring popped out, you want to put that back in. Line that up. And pop it in place. Then if you have that little cap, you want to push that on. After finishing this installation, it's important to have an alignment done on your vehicle. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.